Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks for coming out here. We've got a couple fans here in the house. We're at the Santa Rita Polo Farm here, Grand Champions Polo Club. We're on the Buenos Aires field this morning. We've got the Just for the Fun of It Cup. We've got some fun teams out here. We're going to play a round-robin match. It's going to be a six-chucker match total, so each team will play a total of four chuckers and have two chucker mini-matches here. Lots of different ways that you can explain how a round-robin works. You got the players coming out here, getting ready to get underway. And we will get this one off and working here in just a moment. Players out there finishing up their warm ups, saying hello to each other, and checking in with our mounted official, Mr. Gaston Dorniak. My name's Kale Newman. I'm filling in for our normal announcer, Dale Schwetz. Don't worry, though, he's coming. He was. Not only is Dale a world class announcer, He's a world-class umpire and an instructor here in our polo school program. And he was five goals at his highest rating. And we've got the two teams coming out here. The first two teams, we've got Victory 1 and Victory 2. Victory 1 is in the blue jerseys with Becky Schmeitz. We got Becky Schmeitz, uh, Louis De uh, Divalex, Juan Bellini, and let's see who's out there. I believe that is going to be Tomacho. No, not Tomacho. That's going to be uh, Tuku. All right. So we got the players out there. Couple substitutions. All right, yeah, so I was correct. So we got Becky Schmeitz, Louis uh, Divalex, Juan Bellini, and Patricio Paz, or Tuku, as he likes to be called. That is the team in the blue jerseys. That is Victory Polo 1. Then we have Victory Polo 2 in the black. We got Kevin Schmeitz, Tomacho Pires. And then we have the two Mandelbaum boys, Lion and Sebastian, out there. So we are ready to get underway here. And that ball is in play. We're off and working here. Becky going to the ball. Getting ridden off there by her husband, Kevin. Let's see how that dinner conversation is going to go. Coming in there. A couple players looking for it. It's going to be Tuku now. Patricio Paz working his way down. He's wearing the number four, Patricio. Leaves that one behind. Trying to get this one going. Mandelbaum, nice little pickup there by Mandelbaum. Trying to find Kevin. Nice pickup there, Kevin. This is Kevin's first chucker back in the saddle. Coming off of a knee injury last year. He had some surgery, but I'm happy to say that he is feeling good. I got to speak to him before the match, and he is ready to be back in the saddle. So, let's see. Bellini miscues on that one now. Coming through. Louis trying to get there. Unable to. Yeah, he's going to come away with that ball now. Divalex, it's kind of strange seeing him in this color. Normally he's wearing that uh, the gray and neon orange, his Lafay team's colors. Here we go. They're down on the far side here. Becky picked it up now, and she's going to miss Q, leave that one behind, sent further down now. Kevin trying to get there. He got a little touch on it, but not quite enough. Able to get turned back around, though, and pick up the loose ball. Kevin. And that. Uh, Looks like that one's going to trickle over the sideline out of play for a possession change here. Bad luck there, Kevin. But Kevin, he's looking good. He's looking comfortable in the saddle here. As I mentioned, coming off of a, a pretty serious knee injury. He had surgery, and he has not ridden in about or close to a year. He's out in Colorado all summer watching his wife Becky and his uh, stepson Vinny play all summer at the Aspen Valley Polo Club. He's getting in shape. Here we go. Ball brought back into play here. We've got just under four minutes left to play. Coming through. That's going to be Tomacho. Fieres. Tomach grabbing a hold of this one, keeping it under control. Juan Bellini coming in to apply some pressure. He's going to send this one over here to Mandelbaum. 
Mandelbaum with the play now, working his way down. I believe that one is Lyon. And if I have these two boys mixed up, I do apologize. Uh, that is Sebastian. All right, Sammy, going to send that one down. And it looked like it might have came off the post and went in, but regardless, that's going to be a goal there for the team in black. Victory two. What? <laughs> so nicely done there by Sebastian Mandelbaum. Leo Mandelbaum's two sons out here playing with us this morning. So here we go, back at center field, all lined up. Under three minutes left to play here. Kevin going to get a hold of that ball. Kevin. Kevin. Ooh, bad luck there, Kev. Miscues, but he's followed up nicely here. Send this one further down the field. Trying to keep this one going, Kevin. Kevin, can he get back to that one? No, not this time. They're going to run out of real estate, and that ball will go over the back line wide. Umpire calls play. Here comes a knock-in down there. Two minutes, 20 seconds left to play here in chucking number one. Bellini, powerful shot off the back line. Send it in here looking for Louie. Divalex, Louie picks it up. Keeping this one going. Now, Louie still has possession of this ball over here on the, uh, working along the far sideboards. Now he's going to fire one up the field here. No one quite home. No, there we go. It's going to be Juan Bellini to pick up this one and send it right up there looking for Sebi. But that one's going to go just wide to the left-hand side this time. Bad luck on that one. We're going to have a knock-in down there. Knock-in coming here with one minute, 35 seconds left to play here in Chucker number one. Tomacho. Fires one off to the left-hand side where he's got Kevin getting into position here. Schmeitz, Kevin picks it up here, working his way down. Kevin, doing a nice job. Keeping this one moving. Kevin, trying to get around that last defender up there. That is Tuku, but here comes Louie. Divalex sends one back here. A little back shot setting up a play for Juan Bellini. Bellini now. Got a little too much underneath that one. Not what he wanted to do. Here comes Tomacho. Piedes for victory two. The team in black, Tomach, fires one up the field here, trying to find a teammate. He's going to find the opponent of Louis Divilex, though. Divilex, under a minute left to play here. Passes this one over here for Tuku. Patricio Paz. They call him Tuku. Great addition to the club this fall season, and this ball continues its drive down the field. Becky, out in front here. Becky Schmeitz. There's a 30-second warning horn. Less than 30 to play out here. Becky Schmeitz on the move. Can't she get this one all the way down to the goal mouth? Becky, Becky, Becky. Trying to work this one all the way down. She gets it back. Can this one go? It does. Nicely done there by Becky Schmeitz. What a nice way to end the chucker here. One to one is the score on the board. So we're going to take a quick break here. Let the players hop on a fresh mount. We'll be right back in it with more action here in the Just For The Fun Of It Cup.
as the sun sets in Aspen, Colorado, one of the most beautiful backdrops in the world. Thank you for making us the leaders in Polo Broadcasting. And when you see a day like this on the snow in Aspen, Colorado, you know why we say Trucker TV, we love the Polo. Welcome back, everybody. Live here on CTV Sports, the Buenos Aires Field here at Santa Rita Polo Farm. Just for the fun of it, Cup, we've got Victory 1 in the blue jerseys, Victory 2 in the black. And then we got WBL White. They're going to come in after this trucker. This is a round-robin match. A short round-robin, if you will. Each team playing a total of four truckers. So six truckers on the day here on a beautiful Saturday morning here, Southern Florida. We ended things off with a goal there by Becky Schmeitz to tie us up. Uh, was that a goal? 1-1. One, one. Yeah, so it was a goal to end that chucker. Becky, she worked it all the way down there. Almost lost the handle on it at the last second. Able to recover and po poke it right through the goal mouth. So 1-1 one to one is the score here. As we go into chucker number two. Becky. Getting this one all the way down there. Getting all the work done. Poked through at the last second there by Juan Levine. Okay, players making their way back out here. Six. <laughs> Juan Bellini. Director of Operations here. Wearing his signature pink helmet. Waiting on, I believe, one more player. All right, here we go. Ball's in play. Chucker number two off and working here. Juan Bellini going to grab a hold of this out of the bowling. No, he's going to leave it behind. Here comes Mandelbaum. Working his way down right there, neck and neck with Juan Bellini. Going to leave that one behind. Here comes Divalex. And here we go. Becky. Becky. Working her way down. Trying to keep this one under control. Miscues on it. Here comes Kevin now picking up the loose ball play. Getting turned back. Facing the right direction now. Kevin. Schmeitz. Mandelbaum. Mandelbaum, nice pick up there. Trying to get this one down. No one quite home, though. Oh, look at that. He's able to recover that broken play. Mandelbaum. And now it's coming in. Is going to be Juan Bellini. Grabs a hold of it, drags it forward, slaps it back. He's got Tuku. Going down for the pass here. Devile with or Divilex with possession. This cues on it. Bad luck there for Lewis. And now picked up by Kevin. Schmeitz. Kevin leaves out behind here. Now picking it up is going to be Juan Bellini. Bellini. 
Juan sends this one up here, looking for his number two. Divalex, bad luck, miscues on the ball. Left it behind here, and Tomacho going to come in, pick up the loose ball, play it. Tomacho. Tomacho. Now Mandelbaum picking it up here. Miscues on it. Juan Bellini with a back shot. Four minutes on the clock here in chucker number two. Divalex. Divalex. Ooh, able to recover that. Almost miscued on it, but he's able to recover here. Continuing his drive now. Tries for a centering shot there. A little belly shot. Not quite the angle he was looking for. It's going to go wide to the right-hand side. So we're going to have a knock-in down there. With three and a half minutes left to play in chucker number two. Ball. Working down. Coming back in. Bellini, powerful shot up the field here. Looking for someone. But Mandelbaum's going to come through. Steal it away. Tuku with the back shot there. Not where he wanted to place that one. Unable to move it forward. Tomacho in on the action. Now, where is this one going to go? Mandelbaum. Mandelbaum doing a nice job here. Nice ball control here. So that one is Trace. Coming through. Juan Bellini picks it up here. Two and a half minutes left to play. Play the pass over there to Tuku. Patricio. Tuku with the ball now. Working his way down. Gets it over center field now. He's got Becky going downfield. Tech Becky. Drops in, nicely placed pass there from Tuku to Becky. Becky working her way down, trying to keep this one under control. Nice ball control, though. Working her way, taking it slow, taking it easy. Wanting to keep control there. Unable to do so. Tomacho Piet is going to come through and steal it away for Victory Polo 2. Big ball up the field here. Looking for Kevin Schmeitz. Kevin picks it up over center field now. Kevin. Backed out of there by Divalex. Now picked up by Tuku. Patricio. Paz. Over along the far sideline. It's going to be Divalex. Tried to get in there, but Kevin coming in, picking up the ball. Kevin maintains possession. Kevin. No one up there to help him out. It's going to be stolen out of there now by Bellini. One. Backs that one over here to Divalex. We're the number two today. Divalex. Fires one up here looking for a teammate, looking to find Patricio. He finds him. Duku sends one up here looking for Becky Schmeitz. Can she get there? She drops in on the line perfectly. And nice pick up there by Becky. Working her way down towards the goal mouth here. Mandelbaum coming in with a little steal. Nicely done there. And coming in... To pick it up is going to be Tomacho along the far sidelines with the ball. Tomacho under a minute remaining here. Keeping this one going. Vandelbaum doing a nice job working, working his way down. Watch your ears, folks. There's a 30 second warning horn, less than 30 to play out here in shocker number two. As this ball picked up once again by Patricio. Left behind, though. Bellini picking it up, working his way down. About 10 seconds on the clock here. Not a lot of time. They're fighting against the clock. Kevin gets a hold of this one, sends it back. Now, watch your ears, folks. So that horn is upcoming. And that's all we've got for trucker number two. We're going to go ahead and send the players off, get, let them get, hop on a fresh mount, and we'll be right back in it with more action here in the Just for the Fun of It Cup right here on CTV Sports.
Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Live here at Santa Rita Polo Farm. This is the Just for the Fun of It Cup. A match game here on a beautiful Saturday morning. We have three fantastic teams playing. And we're going to welcome the WPL White team to the field. And we will get this one back underway here with our third chucker on the day. Players on this WPL white team, just getting a quick warm up in here before we get underway. We've got the players working on their warm-up, saying their pleasantries. We're all friends here at the Grand Champions Polo Club, especially here during the fall season. So we'll let the players get ready, and we'll be getting underway here with this trucker as soon as they are lined up at center field. Players coming out here. Umpire just getting some polo balls for his ball bag. And then we're going to get this one underway. So we've got the WPL white team. We've got uh, Johnny Castillo, Martin Jauregui, David Farage, and I believe David is here out there wearing... Out there on the field. He had some traffic issues. There was a wreck on his way here. He's okay. He wasn't involved in the wreck. But I do believe he made it just in time to play his truckers. And we'll get this one underway. Yes, he's good. Yeah, you're good, David. Uh, for the last calendar year. Yeah, so David is here. He is in the house. We're going to get this one underway. So, all the players out there, we've got Johnny Castillo, Martin Jauregui, David Farage, and Patricio Paz pulling some double duty out there. All right, we are ready to get this one underway. Ready when you are on the field, umpire. And here we go. Ball's on the ground. Off and working quickly. Out of the bowl in Mandelbaum. Going to grab a hold of the ball. Mandelbaum. Working his way down. Look at this kid fly. He's got some great ball control out there. Hand-eye coordination. Nicely. Even out of the air. That ball was about two feet off the deck when he made contact. Just going to run out of real estate, though, and send this one over the back line wide. So we're going to have a knock it.
working their way down here. David trying to keep them under control. Miscues on that ball, though. Leaves it behind. Here comes Kevin Schmeitz with a little back shot here. Looking for a teammate. No one quite home, though. Picked off now. Johnny. Miscues on that one. It's going to go over to the far side, but Johnny able to recover. Castillo sends this one back here. Looking for a teammate, but it's going to be Tomacho. Now, Vandelbaum working his way down, looking for some redemption here. He made it all the way down to the end of the field, but miscues at the last second, trying to keep this one under control. Going to get followed up here by his brother, not able to do so. It's going to be Johnny now. Johnny backs that one up, looking to send one over here to one of his teammates. Kevin disrupted it just a little bit, but Martin Jauregui going to get a hold of the ball. Jauregui. Jauregui. Working down, trying to keep this one under control. That's going to be backed out of there momentarily, but look at that. Nicely done there by David. Farage sends this one down, trying to center it up here, get towards the goal mouth, unable to, leaves it behind. Now Mandelbaum in on the action. Tomacho. Tomacho. Fire one up here. He's got Mandelbaum on the move. Can he get a hold of the ball? Slows it down, trying to pick it up. He does. Nice little pick up there. Can't quite keep it moving, though. And it's going to be picked off now by Johnny. Now David in on the action. David. Farach working his way down here. No one between him and the goal. Ooh, bad luck. Just off angle a little bit at the last hit. It's going to go off to the left-hand side, wide of the goal. So we're going to have a knock-in down there with just over three minutes left to play here in Chuck at number three. Kevin picks it up here, working his way down. Kevin doing a fantastic job, man. I can't, I can't say that enough. So proud of him coming off of that serious knee injury here. Looks like it never even happened. Kevin working his way down. He's got Patricio coming in, trying to disrupt that play. Kevin, Kevin, Kevin. Oh, bad luck there at the end. But he's followed up here by Mandelbaum. Mandelbaum with the little drag shot. And that's going to go right on in. So, victory polo two getting on the board here in our second leg of the round robin with Two minutes, 20 seconds left to play as we head back to center field. Heading back to center. And here we are. Back at center field for another bowl in here on our mounted official. Gaston Dorniak. Martin Jauregui with the ball here, working his way out of the pack here. Fires one up, looking for David. David Farash unable to do so. I believe that was kicked by a pony back there. But Martin Jauregui able to recover. Nicely done here. Up there, looking for Johnny Castillo. Castillo, look at that. Quick goal here. Tying it back up. One goal apiece here. Johnny Castillo. Going to get credit for that one. As we make our way back to center field, we have <laughs> we've got one minute ten seconds, one ten on the clock, as we get lined up here at center field. Mandelbaum. Grab it, hold of it quickly there. Unable to keep it moving, though. And picked off now by Jauregui. Martin, Jauregui. Martin. Fires one up the field here. He's got David on the move. Picking up the play, getting him to position. Nicely done here. Nice pick up there by David. David, oh, bad luck. Going to run out of real estate. That one's going to go off to the right-hand side. And watch your ears, folks. We got a horn coming. 30 seconds left to play. Ball off of the playing field. So that's going to be, oh, 
All right, we're going to keep playing. Here we go. Vandalbaum fires one up here looking for his brother. Ooh, picking it up now. It's going to be left behind momentarily here. Picked off my Helregi, and that's all she wrote, folks. That is all the time we had for that one. So I'm going to send him off, and we'll be right back in it with more action here and just for the fun of the cup, live here on CTV Sports, Grand Champions Polo Club. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. We're live here on CTV Sports at the beautiful Santa Rita Polo Farm. We're on the Buenos Aires field this morning on a beautiful Saturday morning. This is the Just for the Fun of It Cup. We've got three teams playing in a round-robin match. We've got the teams making their way back out onto the field here. If you're in the area, come out and join us. Always welcome and open to the public for all of our matches here. You can find out more information on the brand new GCPC app, the Grand Champions Polo Club app. Go to the App Store or the Play Store, depending on which mobile, de mobile device you use, and search GCPC. You'll see our logo on the blue app. Download that. You'll keep up to date. It's going to replace the hotline for using the technology to our advantage here at the Grand Champions Polo Club. Lots of exciting stuff happening over there on the app, and you can also get the CTV Sports app as well. So you can have Polo in your pocket. So here we go. Looks like the players are all ready to get underway here. We played all the way down to the double horn to end trucker number one here in our second round. And we're going to start things off with a bowling from the center to the boards where the play was at the sound of the horn. So 
As soon as we get all the players into the lineup and the umpire sees a clean and proper lineup, he will give them back the ball. Of course, our mounted official, as always, Mr. Gaston Dornyak. We've got Victory Polo 2, wearing the black jerseys, Kevin Schmeitz, Tomas, Tomacho Pieres. Uh, and then we have the two Mandelbaum boys, Sebastian and Lion. All right, that ball is on the ground. Then in the on the other side of things, in the white jerseys, WPL, we've got Johnny Castillo, Martin Haregi, Patricio Paz, and David Farash. Here we go. Ball's on the ground. Here we go. Looking for it. Come to a little bit of a standstill down there. But David going to get a hold of it and send it down. Still on the playing surface. Picked off now by Kevin. Schmeitz. Kev working his way down, keeping this one moving. Working there against Patricio. Tuku, as we like to call him. Kevin. Over center field now, Kevin Schmeitz. Keeping this one going. Kevin. Nice ball control here for Kevin Schmeitz. Bad luck, though. Miscues leaves it behind. Here comes Mandelbaum. Mandelbaum followed up by his brother. Here we go. The Mandelbaum boys, the one-two punch here. We Can he get this one all the way down? Nice centering shot there. Beautiful shot. Still on the playing surface. Will this one go? No, it's going to trickle over the back line wide. But a beautiful centering shot there by Young Mandelbaum. And here we go. Ball drive back into play here by Martin Hauregi. Hauregi. Keeping this one going. Big bomb up the field here. Out in front is going to be David. Picks it up nicely here. David. Farage. Saves that one from going off the playing surface. Centering it up now. Wanting to follow up his own shot here. David! Bad luck there. Off angle. And here we go. Knock in coming here. Behind the ball. Tomacho. Pieres. Brings this one in, taps it once, and now looking around, checking his surroundings. He's got players in motion here. He's got a couple of Mandel bombs going downfield. Nice pickup here, right about center field. Bad luck kick by a pony. And stolen out of there now by Hauregi. Martin Hauregi fighting with a bouncing ball, able to get it recovered here. Martin. Sends one down along the ground. Looking for David. He's going to find him. Nice pickup there by David Frosch. And Miss Q's on it, though. Bad luck to Macho Pieta. It's coming in on the action now for Victory Polo 2. Victory in the dark jerseys this round. Keeping this one going. Tomacho Pieta's. Remaining cool, calm, and collected as he works down the field here. Tomacho Pieta's. Going to drop that one right between the posts. Nicely done there by Tomacho. Getting victory. Polo two up ahead by one goal again. 2-1 now the score. We've got two minutes and 35 seconds left to play here in this chucker. Back at center field. Here we go. Umpire Dorniak sees a clean lineup, puts the ball back on the ground. Kevin Smite's going to grab a hold of it quickly out of the bowling. Nicely done there by Kevin. Schmeitz working his way down, keeping this one under control. Ooh, bad luck, that one just out of his reach. Going to miss Keely that one behind. Mandelbaum, though, in the cleanup position, trying to keep that one going. Bad luck, though. Now Mandelbaum back in on it. Can he get this one done? No, it's going to be stolen out of there now by Hauregi. Martin. Hauregi, under two minutes left to play here in chucker number two of round number two. Hauregi left something behind there, but is able to get turned back, pick it up. Martin. Oh. 
Over center field now, Martin Jauregui working his way down. He's got targets in motion downfield. Sends one over here looking for Johnny, but backed out of there momentarily by Mandelbaum. Nice little heads-up play there. And Jauregui going to thread the needle, send this one all the way through the pack of players, and drop it right between the posts. Nicely done there by Martin Jauregui with just over a minute remaining here in chucker number two of round number two. So we're going to head back to center field. Plenty of time to get another bowl in off. Maybe possibly even another goal. Back at center. Teams lining up. And here we go. Ball back on the ground. Tomacho Piedis from the back of the pack now. Watch your ears, folks. Horn is upcoming. There it is. 30 seconds left to play here in our final chucker of our second leg. And Mandelbaum going to grab a hold of this one. Fighting against the clock here. 16 seconds on the clock. Can he get this one done? No, it's going to be stolen out of there now by Jauregui. Jauregui. Keeping this one going. Martin Jauregui. Hooked out of there momentarily here. And Mandelbaum coming in. Watch your ears, folks. That's the double horn, and that's all she wrote for this round of the round robin. We are going to go ahead and go to a quick break here. Let the WPL white team hop in a uh, fresh mount. We're going to say goodbye to the team in black, Victory Polo 2. Kevin, you did great, man. Very happy to see you out there on the field coming off that knee injury. Good job to the Mandelbaum boys as well and to Macho. Thank you, guys. We'll see you guys again, but not in this match. We're going to welcome back Victory Polo 1, the team in blue with Becky Schmeitz. So we'll be right back after this, live on CTV Sports.
Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, live here on CTV Sports, here at the Buenos Aires Field at the beautiful Santa Rita Polo Farm. We've got our third round, the third leg of the round robin set to begin here. We have the team in white. They're going to stay up, and then we are going to welcome back the team in blue. That is Victory Polo 1 with Becky Schmeitz. So... Those of you who are watching CTV Sports, if you happen to be watching CTV Sports on your computer, that's fine. It works on the computer, but you should check out the CTV Sports app as well, available for your mobile device. And have Polo in your pocket, Polo anywhere you are. You can watch all of our live stream games, which are about 98% of our Polo is all live streamed. The only time we don't do it is when there is a severe overlap, but we have such a great team here. With the CTV Sports crew, they are able to film so much of our polo and put it out there in the world for you, the viewers, to enjoy. Also, check out the Grand, the Grand Champions Polo Club app, GCPC app, available on the App Store and the Play Store. Stay up to date with any time changes, field location changes, and stay, also stay up to date with rosters and such. So... Looks like we have everybody out here ready to get underway here. Chucker number one of round number three or chucker number five on the day. However you want to think about that. Getting everybody lined up here. So we have Becky Schmeitz, Louis Divelec, Juan Bellini, Tomacho Pietes swapping in here to the team in blue. Playing against WPL White, Johnny Castillo, Martin Jauregui. Patricio Paz, and David Frush. Final player making his way to the lineup, and we'll get this one underway. And if you're in the area and you want to come and watch some polo tomorrow, we've got the finals of the Pedro Morrison right here at 10 o'clock. Right here at the Santa Rita Polo Farm. Ball's on the ground. We are off and working here. Chuck underway, Johnny. Going to get their first Johnny going head to head there with Louis Divalex. Johnny Castillo, nice little shot there. Nice and easy. Will it go? It will. Nicely done there by Johnny Castillo. Beautiful goal there. Showing us how it's done with what looked like minimal effort out there as well. Back to center field we go. As we line up on our mounted official, Gaston Dornyak. Once we get everyone back to a proper lineup, that ball will be put back on the ground. There we go. Ball's on the ground. Becky got to swipe at it. Now Louie. Now Louie. Going to fire this one out looking to find Juan Bellini, but it's going to be Patricio. Tuku. Grabbed a hold of that one. Unable to keep it moving. Backed it up, though, or backed up now by Martin Jauregui. Little pump fake there. Get Juan out of the way. Here we go. Now he's going to release that ball down along the ground looking for David. Nope. David unable to get on the line. It's going to be picked off by Johnny. Johnny Castillo. Stolen out of there now by Tomacho. Pietas. Tomacho. Trying to keep this one going. Louis. Divalex. Miss Hughes leaves it behind now. Juan Bellini in control in the back of the pack. Getting this ball back under control. Juan Bellini. Gets underneath that one. Gives it a ride. No one. Not quite the distance he was looking for there. It's going to be stolen out of there now by... Ooh. Louie. Tried to get a hold of that one, but it's backed out. But Juan able to recover once again. Nicely done there by Juan Bellini. Patricio Paz, though. Going to come in there with the steal. Nicely done there. Trying to set up a play here for one of his teammates. But Wabellini being a thorn in everybody's side. Getting a hold of that ball once again. Juan Bellini. Backed it up here. Right there to Louis Divalex. Unable to get that one through though. Going to go wide to the left hand or the right hand side, rather. 
Bad luck. Here we go. Martin Jauregui bringing the ball in with just under three and a half minutes left to play here in our fifth chucker on the day. Jauregui. Martin. Now Becky coming in with a little steal there. Nicely, dot, nicely done there by Becky. Nice little pickup. Schmeitz. Becky. Looking around. Checking her surroundings. She's got some players coming in to help her out. Becky passes over here, looking to find Wambolini, but it's going to be Jauregui to get a hold of this one and take it back for WPL White. WPL, of course, World Polo League. Stay tuned for more information coming out about the 2024 WPL season. And as I mentioned before, get that app, the GCPC app. You can find all the information there. Wambolini going to grab a hold of this one, steals it back here, fires one down. He's got Becky on the move. Becky. Trying to get there. Picks it up. Nicely done. Becky Schmites. Becky, 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 Becky. Can't she get back to it? Patricio tried to get there, but that one's going to cross the plane of the goal mouth here. Becky Schmites getting a point on the board. Nicely done there by Becky. Of course, her husband was on the team in the black jerseys. Kevin Schmites. We do love the Schmites family. They're a big part of our Aspen Valley Polo Club family up there in our summer season, our sister club, located in Carbondale, Colorado. Very happy to have them here with us this fall season, and I do believe they're going to be here for most of the winter season as well. So very happy to have the Smites family being a part of our JCPC family. Here we go. Ball's back on the ground. Out of the bowling. Who's going to come away with it? It's going to be Jauregui. Martin. Grabs it for drags it forward now, slaps it back here, looking for one of his teammates, but Louie Divilex gonna get there first. Divilex with a pass over here, looking for Becky Schmeitz. Nice little pick up there by Bex. Becky. Keeping this one moving. Becky. Can't quite keep that one going. It's the left here in the pack of players. Who's gonna come out of there with it? Patricio gets a little underneath that one, pops it up in the air. Under a minute remaining here in trucker number one, or trucker number five, depending on how you want to look at it. First trucker of the final leg. And it's going to be Tomacho Pietas now. Tomach. Tomacho. Now Martin. Jauregui. Watch your ears, folks. There's going to be a horn coming. There it is. 30 seconds left to play. Too much. Up to Becky. Becky Schmeitz fighting against the clock here. 20 seconds on the clock. Can she get this one all the way down? She's got some help coming in in the form of Juan Bellini and Tomacho Pietes. 12 seconds on the clock now. And Bellini going to grab a hold of that one. Taking it all the way down. Will it go? Not this time. Not sure which came first, if it was the... Okay, so it's going to be a knock-in here. When we return for our final chucker of the day. And we do have some prizes to give these wonderful players, so we will do a quick and easy trophy presentation right here. Players, please be sure to come to that. Don't run off just yet. we got one more chucker for you, folks. So don't go anywhere. Stay tuned here on CTV Sports. We'll be right back for the last checker, though just for the fun of it. Bing. Game.
Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, here on CTV Sports. We are live from the Asp- er, from the uh, Buenos Aires Field. The Aspen Field is the one behind us. Buenos Aires Field here at Santa Rita Polo, Polo Farm. Our, our sixth and final chucker of the day, the second of the, the third round. Set to begin here. We're going to start things off with a knock-in here. Martin Jauregui behind the ball. And on calls play, ball is on to the playing surface. Here we go. Final chucker of the day. And if you're in the area and you'd like to come out and watch the polo, come and join us tomorrow morning for the finals of the Pedro Morrison Memorial right here at the Santa Rita Polo Farm. Tomacho and Martin, they come together. Martin tried to steal that one away, but Tomach able to maintain uh, possession. Working his way down, he's going to send one out in front here looking for Becky. Becky Schmitz picking it up, working her way down, trying to get another point on the board here. Becky, 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 can she keep this one on the playing surface? Able to keep it on the surface, but stolen out of there now by WPL White. That is Martin Jauregui. Martin. Fires one up the field here through the pack of players, looking for... David, unable to find him. Coming in now is going to be Martin. Alregui loses the handle there. Tomacho Piedra is now with possession. Fires one up. He's got Becky on the move. And I do believe Becky is on Pinky, one of her favorite ponies. To play out in the Aspen Valley Polo Club. Becky trying to get that one all the way down. Miss Q's on it at the last second, but it's going to be taken out of there now and working back here, Martin Hauregi. Hauregi. Martin loses the handle on that one. Becky picks it up. Now Juan Bellini picks it up, sends it back to Becky. Juan able to. Maintain this one. Juan Bellini sends it down to the goal mount, but it's going to go wide to the uh, left-hand side. Just under four minutes left to play here in our final chucker on the day. And we're going to have a knock-in here by Martin Hauregui, the sixth goaler. Uh-oh, Martin. Miss cues on that one. Gets Loses the handle. Becky coming in on the action. Becky. Becky, 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 can she get this one done? She does. Oh. No. She got a hold of it, but it's going to go just off to the right-hand side. So knock in here for Martin Jauregui. Jauregui. His ball. Up the field here for Johnny. Castillo leaves it behind now for David Farage. David. Working his way down. Keeping this one under control. And nicely done there. Johnny getting another one here. Johnny Castillo came to play some polo today. We've got a little over two and a half minutes left to play here. Still plenty of time. Ball put back on the ground. Here we go out of the bowling. It's going to be Patricio. Tuku with the ball. Tuku. Bad luck. Kicked by a pony. Picked off nicely here by Martin Jauregui on the near side. Martin. Trying to keep this one moving. Juan Bellini with the steal there. Quickly out. Quickly gets out of there with the ball. Juan Bellini. Over center field down. Tuku chasing him down hard here. Juan Bellini, ooh, bad luck, miscues on that one. David, or er, uh, Louis Divalex coming down the line here. Trying to get that one back under control for his team. Victory two, or er, victory one, rather. Victory one is Becky's team. Victory two is Kevin's. Here we go. Martin Jauregui coming around the bend here. Yeah. 
And Louie with a nice little disruption play there. Now Becky picking up the ball. Nice little move there by Becky. A nice little maneuver there. Handy little pony. Becky centers it up here, going down towards the goal mouth. Becky Schmeitz, can't she get this one done? And yeah, nicely done there. So another point goes on the board with one minute left to play. <laughs> and I love to hear it. This is my favorite kind of polo. Everyone is friends out there on the field. Everybody giving each other words of encouragement. That's what we like to see here in the fall season. Here at the Grand Champions Polo Club. Balls are back on the ground. Coming out of there with it is going to be Juan Bellini. Bellini fires one up the field here. Juan Bellini, watch your ears, folks. That 30-second horn is coming. There it is. 30 seconds left to play here in Chucker. Number six on the day. Here we go. Tomacho. Tomacho. Ooh, left that one behind. Bad luck. Not what he wanted to do there. Got about 10 seconds on the clock, fighting against the clock here. Uh, not sure if there's enough time to get all the way down there. Now there's definitely not. Martin Jauregui gives some effort to it, though. But watch your ears, folks. That is all she wrote, folks, for that match. Thank you guys so much for coming out. Stay tuned. We do have uh, some prizes to give to these players. Uh, so stick around, stay tuned. We'll get that into position here. But thank you guys so much for tuning in here on CTV Sports. This was the just for the fun of it. And please be sure to join us on the on tomorrow's broadcast for the finals of the Pedro Morrison Memorial. But for now, we're going to go to a quick break. We'll be back for trophies.
All right, welcome back to CTV Sports. We're live here. We got a trophy presentation. What a good looking group of polo players here. We're just waiting on Johnny. He's coming back here in just a minute, but we'll go ahead and start. Uh... <laughs> All right, so I got my lovely assistant here, Leo Mandelbaum. He's going to help us out here for the WPL white team. We're just going to go straight down the line here. WPL white team, we have uh, Patricio Paz, Tuku. <laughs> Next up, we have Martin, Martin Jauregui. David Farage, thank you so much. He made it here just in time for his truckers. We've got uh, Louis Divilex. <laughs> And uh, our lovely presenter here, Leo Mandelbaum. We've got Juan Bellini, the, the Becky Schmeitz. <laughs> Kevin Schmeitz. For victory two, Tomacho Pieres. Lion Mandelbaum and Sebastian Mandelbaum. And Leo, go ahead and stand there. Uh, Johnny's not going to make it here for the photo, so go ahead and stand there next to, next to your boys, Leo. And uh, we'll get one, one big photo of everybody. Thank you guys so much for coming out today, being a part of this day. And uh, I'd like to speak for everyone here at Grand Champions Polo Club and CTV Sports. And I say thank you for m making us the leaders in polo broadcasting. And when you see polo like this, you know why we like to say we love the polo. <laughs> 